The Black Shark 3 Pro is one of the best gaming phones of 2020. It looks visually stunning for many gamers out there and has the perfect combination of screen size and actual physical pop-up triggers. One thing it is lacking though is the use of an internal fan, as seen on Nubia devices, the Red Magic series, such as the new Red Magic 5G. Xiaomi have responded though with an external fan here called the Fun Cooler Pro. It is priced at around 25 USD and comes paired with a USB type A to type C cord in the box. Here is the Fun Cooler Pro itself with an off and on switch and that's pretty much it out of the box. Looking around it, it is quite bulky to go on the back of your phone and it can be used with many other devices out there, though I suggest using it with a device that is water and dust resistant because this thing does get pretty wet. Peeling off the back there, we do have a rubber coating covering the copper heat sink underneath that in order to protect your phone while it is cooling it. We have the USB type C cord going into it here and it is plugged into a wall socket over here. We can also use it to plug into our phone, which we'll get to in a minute. It looks absolutely stunning with those RGB lights, though it would have looked slightly cooler popping up from the front instead of just within the fan itself. It automatically connects and once it is connecting and on the phone, it makes an enormous phone look even bigger. So here is the type A to C port. It doesn't come with a charger in the box. You have to use the standard charger. I'm gonna use my Asus ROG phone type C to type C port to see if it actually works plugging into the phone and it does it would have been nice if black shark actually included a type c cord to type c listen to this That is the sound between two different modes of freeze and frozen modes that they have a 6,200 revolutions per minute fan. Inside the Red Magic 5G though, we have a 16,000 revolutions per minute. Though in all fairness, that is a much smaller fan compared to this. So it's not too bad. 6,200 is pretty much what you see in PCs these days. So we're gonna go ahead and do a test over here. And after 30 minutes, it gets really moist, but it doesn't get frozen. I've left it on the frozen setting here and it doesn't do what Xiaomi said. Xiaomi Black Shark have actually released a YouTube video showing that as opposed to this. I did 30 minutes, they did 10 minutes, it was frozen and mine is just slightly moist, though they did use 10 degrees Celsius room temperature. We're gonna be showing the battery degrees Celsius and CPU degrees Celsius at the start of the Santutu benchmark run. No cooler on the left-hand side and the cooler on the right-hand side is attached to the Black Shark 3 Pro. At the end of the test here, you can see that we added 2.1 degrees Celsius to the battery with no cooler and four degrees Celsius to the CPU. With the cooler though, we only added 0.4 degrees Celsius to the battery and just three degrees Celsius to the CPU. It seems to be doing more for the battery than it does with the CPU and the overall and two scores don't look that different either. We're gonna go ahead and play Call of Duty Mobile over here. And I must say this thing is a bit obstructive when playing games. It is absolutely big and it really sucks that it has to be connected to a power source. When we started off Call of Duty Mobile over here, we were rocking 31.5 degrees Celsius in the battery department, as you can see using the always on display while well, the actual OS at the top over there. And now we're reaching 30.9 degrees Celsius at the end. And nevertheless, it actually helped me get that final kill cam. So that's pretty good. It didn't decrease too much. The Black Shark Fun Cooler Pro, a mouthful to say once again, thanks for that Black Shark, is not everyone's cup of tea. It is adjustable. It looks really rugged at the back, but it honestly makes a big phone even bigger. In my opinion, it's a bit of a gimmick, but if you have the cash to splurge, why not go for it and keep your phone just a tad bit cooler than it already is. Guys, this is Technic, and I'll see you in the next one.